In this one we're going to talk about centrifugal start motors. Uh, centrifugal start motors, most of them are similar to this in their design. They don't have to be. Uh, and they're usually fan duty motors. Uh, belt drive fans are very common for these things. They can be two speed, most of them are single speed, and their RPM is usually, if it's a single speed, it's going to be 1725. It has a centrifugal start on it because the motor needs more, or the load needs more starting torque than the uh, PSC motor can uh, produce. PSC motor is a low starting torque, often fan duty uh, also, but this one may have a heavier fan to get started, so it will use a centrifugal start. So what is centrifugal start? Centrifugal start is a method of getting these things started by engaging the start winding with full voltage. It's a little out of phase from the uh, main winding, and so it kind of gives it a kick. If you have that start winding sized properly for the, the type of load you have and so on, you turn that on and the motor starts, gets up to 75% speed, and then it shuts off that start winding. So it just runs in the run winding. So it's just there to get it started. Now here's a look at this motor once it's been torn apart. First I wanted to kind of show you the windings themselves here. Now you'll note these windings here, a fairly small diameter wire, and we've got a set of windings here, and we've got a set of windings here, and we've got a set of windings here and here. Those are all start windings. They're usually a smaller diameter. There's usually less number of turns in the windings. The run windings are these heavy ones here. Now you notice these things they're going to take more amperage than the start winding. If I'm trying to start this thing, the start is going to be out of phase, which is going to give the motor a kick, and these windings will be energized as well as these main windings. Once that motor starts rotating, we have a centrifugal switch. Now, this is the actuator for the centrifugal switch, and it kind of pops down like that. It's actuated by the RPM. There's weights on these springs here and when it gets up to a certain point it drops down like that and that opens the start winding. See if this thing's off the start winding will be engaged. It has to be up to speed before it'll drop out. Now looking here you can see the contacts, the start contacts, which are kind of burned up in this one. Uh, and they're normally closed. This rubs on the uh, disc that was a centrifugal start. And so it is going to open those windings when this motor gets up to speed. Very, you know, pretty simple operation. Nothing really special about this motor. Okay, pretty high starting torque on these things. I can add a capacitor, sometimes two or even three capacitors, and increase the starting torque on them for high load applications. But for fan loads, this is probably fine. The only real drawback to this thing is the switch itself. If the switch sticks, if it sticks open especially, the motor won't start. And I'll do another video that I kind of show what happens when certain things don't work. When the start winding isn't engaged, when it goes to fire, a uh, few things like that. Anyway, that's how that start system works on the centrifugal start motor.